Hello, Krasa from the future here, sorry to bother you, I'm here to let you know that this was the first video that I did, but I pre-recorded 31 videos for the first month of this channel, this being the first one. So there will be one video per day this month here in Krasa Sims, and even though this first is not really great and my voice sounds very weird, I hope you will stick around to see the other videos and my evolution throughout then. So if you enjoy my content, please subscribe and I'll be seeing you every day from now on. Bye! Hello baby boys and welcome to Cruza Sims. My name is Cruza Darwin. I'm from Strange Town and this is Pleasant View. You guys, I'm super excited. This is the very first video of this channel and it will be a game you play because why not? So we'll be playing with uh, a different kind of uh, approach because um, we'll be playing with um, story progression and also the traits project and I so that also means that we will be not playing uh, rotational game play. Uh, we'll be playing just one household, and you know, I had to go with my favorite sims of all time, the God family, because they are also like the main characters of a franchise that you know doesn't have main characters. Uh, I already changed it a little bit. I mean, a lot of bit <laughs> when it came down to Cassandra, but I changed all of the three sims. I gave them new everything except for outfits for Mortimer and Alexander but Cassandra also got a uh, new outfits so let's check them so here we got uh, my version of the God family as I told you guys I didn't change uh, change it uh, Mortimer's outfit or Alexander's because let's be honest Mortimer is about to die and Alexander is just a kid so why bother Cassandra is going to be the main character for uh, some time here in this family and let me start by showing you guys their traits that I picked it for them okay so Cassandra is a evil sim and that's because in, in my mind <laughs> Cassandra's mother Bella she is a witch but not only like any witch she is the most powerful witch of all times, you know, I, I always uh, felt like uh, the God family was magical in some ways, you know, and so Bella was a witch in that storyline, you know, in that version of Pleasant View, and she is now gone, of course, maybe she will be coming back, we don't know that yet, but uh, Cassandra was actually born a witch because of her mother, evil witch okay she's a bad sim and she is a loner she is shy she is unplutty and she is a bookworm Cassandra also have the Mr. Me Michaels because you know she is like this voodoo voodoo witch and yeah that kind of deal I change, uh, changed her personality points as you can tell she is now super neat super shy kind of in between lazy and active, super serious and super grou grouchy. Uh, I change her change her interests every time but they get back to normal. I don't know why. <laughs> I I have to change it again I guess. Uh, so yeah all of the three scenes got new new memories because I feel like that makes more sense. She has a degree now. Uh, I turn I remove uh, her turn ons and turn offs because in this version Cassandra was actually nev never engaged to Dome because she doesn't like boys or girls I changed her aspiration so now she's no longer a family sim she is a knowledge sim and I have this super cool uh, custom lifetime lifetime once and so her new lifetime one is to reach pick magic alignment and cast a hundred spells as witch. Yeah, so let's check Mortimer. You know, I did not change Mortimer aspiration or lifetime one, but he have, of course, his traits. So he is a bookworm, a genius, artistic, ambitious, and a workaholic you know just like his father Gunter this is uh, his new memories looking good you know and he is already uh, engaged with Nina 
whenever the game uh, begins in this version. Oh, I changed, of course, his personality points as well. He's super neat, super outgoing, between lazy and active, super serious, and between grouchy and nice. So that's uh, are the new interests for him. As you can tell, this is my version, you know. He's super into politics, money, entertainment, environment, culture, work, and sci-fi. And now let's check uh, Alexander. So we have bookworm, genius, and uh, computer wise. Guys, as you can tell, English is not my first language. I'm struggling, <laughs> struggling a lot with my speech, but I hope to get better as we progress with the gameplay and you know just with the videos in general so these are his interests he only cares about entertainment paranormal school toys and sci-fi because you know he's a kid here we have his new personality points he's in between sloppy neat shy and outgoing lazy and active and he's super serious and he is super nice because i wanted him to be like kind of the opposite of cassandra you know she's super grouchy and she and he is super nice even though they're both very serious you know because i just feel like this is a god trait for them you know so here we have his new memories you know and as you guys can tell uh Cassandra's and Alexander's and even Mortimer's last la last memories is the, are about Dina uh, Dina Caliente. So Mortimer got engaged to Dina, and now Alexander and Cassandra are enemies with Dina because they hate her. You know she used to be married to their uncle uh, Miguel, I guess Miguel in Portuguese. I don't know in. In English, she is Michael. So the, she used to be married to their uh, aunt, um, uncle, Mike, Michael, and then he died all of the sudden. And then you know, Bella gone missing, and now she is engaged to their father. Like this is some creepy vibes storyline, you know. And this is not even my own. This is EA's, you know, Max's original storyline for Pleasant View. So that's really <laughs> kind of creepy in a way. So that's it, I guess I cover everything and now let's play. Alright, so you... I just feel like playing in a more realistic way even though, you know, we're talking about witches and that kind of deal, but... Mortimer is going to be calling Dina because, you know, it makes sense. He, she is her... his fiancé. Fiancé. And so, yeah, call her. You know, keep the love alive. Oh, well, as you can tell, because I have the traits project, uh, her phone got up like super quickly by reading, which normally doesn't happen. This is so cool, you guys. Now, sleep. I also changed uh, her uh, other outfits and she have a new hair for every single outfit. Okay, Cassandra is already asleep. Marmar was still talking to her fiance. He, he, uh, he also have the bookworm trait. Now go for bed and sleep. Alright. Story progression, Jennifer Burby is now pregnant with John Burby's baby. Guys, this happens all the time, Jennifer always get pregnant. Uh, and Angela had her first kiss with Dustin, you know, that happens too. I'm, a, I'm also going to hiring some people to work here. You know, they're rich, they have, I don't even know how to say this, uh, this number in English, but they have a lot of money. She is thinking about her grandfather and Lily. It's okay, that's weird. Alright, so they're both off to go. Now let's uh, let's hire uh, a gardener, a maid. I was kind of hoping that we'd had Kaylin, but that's fine. And also a butler. Yeah. All right. So Dina will be coming over here today for uh for a dinner. All right. 
just waiting for you know everybody to come and he just really doesn't have anything to do like it's kind of boring honestly oh there are no fishes here let's buy some fishes looking good all right yeah he doesn't look very good does he like look at that what the fuck is that <laughs> okay all right so now john burby is a natural scientist okay that's fun i actually wanted that job for cassandra but okay actually he's going to now uh, serve a turkey because he's going to ha uh, be having dinner for a little a little dinner party you know so dinner is coming and you are not going to eat that right now baby you can wait and you come here no you're not supposed to eat that Stop. All right. So it and it and it. So here we have the four of them. You know. Oh, they actually just uh, are no longer enemies. But that's because only Cassandra and Alexander hates Dina. She doesn't hate them back, so it would be easy for them to no longer be enemies. But Let's see. Alright, so Mortimer is kind of fed up. He is going to the bathroom and Cassandra and Dina will be alone. Let's change to here and then throw drink. I just feel like, you know, this is natural for them. Okay, let's check. Alright. She deserves it and then Cassandra is just you know talking about how she's not going to be stealing her father's money and now go away so Cassandra Cassandra you know did what she had to do and now she's going to sleep okay and she is actually pissed with Cassandra I love that all right let's not show that to the kids you know <laughs> but they are doing it oh my god it takes some time oh okay <laughs> and you know with the with the Bella's Bella's face right here but I guess they don't really mind that and they are like so dramatic at 6 p at 6 a.m but that's fine you know they had a great nine, I guess. I mean, I don't know about Dina, but Mortimer had. So, here we have Dina and Mortimer, you know having a, a breakfast Cassandra didn't want it to join them because she despises Nina and uh, Alexander is off to school so it's just the two of them Dina doesn't even you know live here yet but she's staying around a lot because that makes sense let's tip her Cassandra is like, no bitch, get away, get away from here. 
So Cassandra wanted to cast a spell and I just feel like this is the perfect opportunity. You know. Alright, spell casted, it, it worked out. Now they're fighting. Not in front of Alexander, okay? He's just a kid. Let's move. Let's move, move, move. Alright. Go to the bathroom. Cassandra did not eat today, so she's kinda hungry. Let's let's eat the pancakes. Some leftover pancakes. Who doesn't like that? Okay, so they're going to woohoo again because right after the woohoo they both uh, sleep and right now I can't control Dina, so yeah. So what I'm thinking, uh, you know, they will be getting married but Dina is not going to have a baby from Marmer, you know. I just feel like I have done this so many times in my games and I just wanna to change a little bit, you know. And so here we have Cassandra, you know, waking up, getting ready for the, her day. Brand is Brand broke is having a baby, that boy that she always have. I love the star progression mod so much, you guys. Like this is just amazing honestly so Cassandra is good enough because you know she just woke up so Gina is still here she is living her life you know she loves to be here but I feel like she you know had to go back to her house because the wedding is going to be pretty soon and so let's say goodbye to her and she will be spending a lot more of time here after they got married so Vladimir uh, sorry Marmer Vladimir is his name in Portuguese all right so once again Marmer is just you know waiting for people to come over Cassandra wants to bring Brandon Lillard home from work is that okay of course not I hate townies so no and Alexander brought a friend from school which I didn't want him to do, but that's fine. Let's just say goodbye to this bitch. Okay, this little bitch is not going anywhere. I'm like, get off my property. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is mine and you're in it. Bye, bitch. So, Alexander is about to grow up and we're not having a party, but we will be like, you know, have him... Blow some candles. I guess that's worthy. Let's put here some birthday cake. Uh, a key. This one. I was kind of waiting for a cutscene, I don't know why. Oh, because it's not a party, okay. So, I hate his outfit, of course, and we are going to change it. So, this is how I set up Alexander. He's going to be a fortune sim. His turn ons are uh, logical and glasses, and his turn off is a cleric. So, yeah, we need to change his outfit, like, right now. Okay, you want some cake, that makes sense. And so, well, alright, we have a uh, new outfit for him. So they are back. It's kind of late, like they were the last customers. Oh my god, who is taking bath here? Okay, that's, that's kind of creepy. Now let's change his outfits before bed, you know, he wants to come to high school in a nice looking way I guess okay so this is the new Alexander's casual everyday outfit formal pajamas uh, swings bear 
under underwear i guess i forgot the outer wear yeah that's one jennifer burb is having a baby okay uh so it's friday so that means tomorrow uh and saturday is uh, marmers and nina's wedding and so it's early in the morning and Marmer is calling Dina because you know their wedding is tomorrow they are talking Alexander is off to school his first day in high school as a teen boy I wonder if Lucy is already a teen girl too I think so I'm not sure so now Alexander is a bookworm a genius a computerized and workaholic just like his father and so today is the big day you know uh, Marmir's in the wedding and we'll be throwing a wedding party 3 p.m. Cassandra is unhappy about the wedding of course and because of that she is not uh, attending the wedding she is going to pass her day uh, in her bedroom locked reading and you know being bitter about uh, her dad's wedding yeah so before the wedding party I get to I have to sell the piano otherwise uh, since we'll get obsessed about it and it's just no fun you know all right so everybody is coming that's that's great so let's just wait here and everybody is in the house so let's get married so Nina is moving in with Dina you know I think that I think that's fun and it would make sense so here is everybody Ibsen Mafison Oh La Frata Mlakina Mona Kisalona Oh Val <laughs> so now here we have Dina God and Nina is also living here. Alright, people are you know having a great time I hope. Who is that? Oh okay, Jean Burby. It's fine. Alright, so <laughs> Marshall Burby is aging up, but his parents and his sister are here, so I don't know. I hope that Nanny is doing his justice. So, yeah, they are flirting. Lucy and Alexander, I love this, uh, this couple. And as you can tell, here we have uh, a different of height. I have a mod about that too. And let's interact a little bit more. So Dina, uh, actually the Calientes and Brandy are super friendly, which I love, which I love it. Cassandra is here, she doesn't bother, you know. Where is Dina? Okay, so Dina is here. They are having a great time here. I guess you know they were like uh, Alexander was asking Lucy if she wanted to learn how to dance or maybe she was asking him that yeah I guess that makes more sense so sweet talk look how beautiful Lucy is okay so the wedding party was a hurrying Success, congratulations, final credit score, proof hazer. That's pretty much it for today's video. Yeah, look how beautiful Dina looks. So, see you next time. You know, we'll be playing more, of course. And I can't wait to show you guys everything that I got in mind for these scenes. Bye!